Hello everyone. I'm going to try and use my my new phone. Hopefully it doesn't flash lights in the background. I have a lamp on over there. I don't have the ring light on because I have my glasses on. Uh, yes, my hair is wet. <laughs> I just got out of the shower a little bit ago. Um, I noticed that on some of my videos when I turn my head and all, because I usually pull my hair to one side, it always looks like I have like a knot in my hair. Um, I don't always have a knot in my hair. My if I don't brush my hair constantly while it's wet, it starts to curl up. So underneath my hair curls up a lot. So if it ever looks like I have a knot in my hair, I really don't. So right now it's wet. I was just brushing it down. So hopefully it don't start curling up during my video. But anyway, so I'm going to do a changing video of... Um, a couple of my babies. I'm actually going to do a changing video on three of them. They're my three little girls. Um, one is my Quinlan, who I named Quinn Renee. And then I have Lexi. Um, she's from Bountiful Baby. And I named, I kept her name Lexi. And then I have my Rosalie, who I named Ivy Jane. I didn't keep her name. Because my mother didn't like it. So I didn't keep it. Um, so her name is Rosalie. But first before I change them. I'm going to bring on my happy Sage. I changed her t today. Actually no I think I changed her yesterday. But anyway. Here she is in a little dress. Uh, and I named her Paisley Sage. She was done by a Russian artist. Look at her. She was really, really cute. Look at that face. She's really cute. She's painted well. She does need some more weight in her, which I will give her some more weight. But um, I thought I'd show her in her little dress. And I'm going to sit her back over here. Um, so I'm going to bring the camera down and we're going to change a few of my babies. Here we go. Oh, over there are my Alexa Marie and Olivia Marie. Oh, their outfits are really cute. They're both in the same outfit, so I'll just show one. <laughs> this is one of the outfits I picked up at Marshall's when I was down visiting Maricel. I do have to get um, some long sleeve um, white onesies so that they can wear them under their outfits. But here she is. This outfit looks really cute on them. And they're both dressed alike because I dress them alike because they're twin girls. So I'll just sit her back over there. But they both have the same clothes on. So, all right. So let me bring the camera over and down. I'm going to pull it up a little further so you can see the girls. So let's see. First, I'm going to change. I guess I'll change my Quim Renee. Well, she's having a bad hair day. Her hair is so soft. Oh, bad mommy. I flipped her head backwards. Bad mommy. So, look at her. She's, I don't, I really like this outfit on her, but I'm going to put some pajamas on her. So, let's see. I picked out, the outfit that I picked out, oh, it fell. I got this little pajama set it says preemie so i'm hoping that it'll fit her it has little wows on it and it's pink and white and it has a little bow right there <laughs> our hair sticks up a lot but when i do this it goes right back down she's weighted nice she's very pretty beautifully painted oh, look at those little toes I wonder if you can see them. They're so cute. Um, she, she's one of the ones I'm going to take. I'm going to a doll show um, in North Carolina at the end of June. And she is definitely one of the babies I'm taking. Um, I figured you're only allowed to take um, one doll on the floor. And it has to be in an umbrella stroller only. So I'm going to get a new carrier and 
Andy is going to push a stroller or vice versa and one of us will hold the carrier. So I'm going to take um, definitely her and Alex and then I'll bring, I can bring two on the floor Saturday and then change it up to two other babies on Sunday. And I'm going to the, we're going to the baby shower on um, Friday night and he doesn't want to take a baby into there. So I'm going to just probably carry one in a carrier. If we're allowed to bring a baby to the baby shower, I don't even know. I didn't read on there. I'm pretty sure you're allowed to take a baby in there, but you're not allowed to um, bring a stroller into the baby shower. So I don't know if, if I'm even going to take one in. If I take one in, it'll most likely be her. I think I'm just going to bring four babies with me. I'm hoping to, well, I know I'll be at least purchasing one baby while I'm there. So there's, there's a couple, um, some tables I definitely want to check out. I've seen some of their work on Facebook, and I would love to see their work close up. And one of them happened to be um, Kelly Maple. Um, she's going to be there selling some of her babies, and I would love to get one of her babies. Um, so I definitely want to check out her work up close. I've seen her videos you know on youtube and um she seems like a, a real sweetheart she really does so i would love to see her babies maybe she'll have one that i might want this is a little snug on her but we're gonna make it work probably won't stay in this very long quinn my little quinn renee because it is a little snug on you but there she is in the little pajamas. Say hello to everybody, Quinn Renee. Hello. She's so pretty. She kind of looks like my kids when they were little, when they were babies. And that's probably why she just melts my heart. She really does. So she's definitely a baby that I'm going to be taking with me. All right. So let's do Lexi next. Um, Lexi is, um, a bountiful baby. She doesn't come, she doesn't come with a, um, a COA. She never came with one. Um, I tried to sell her actually. I had her listed for sale and my mom was like, no, you can't sell her. I really like her. And, um, so I did not sell her. And since my mom's been gone, I definitely will not sell her. She will always stay in my collection only because of that response the respond that my mom made when I posted her for sale. She is pretty. She's definitely not one of my favorites though, but she will always stay her and the one I had made for my mom. Um, she's painted good. She's actually kind of cute. She has that little cute lip. I like that. And that's what drew me to her. She's definitely not one of my favorites, but I like her. So I'm going to put this on her. It has a little butterfly on it. Butterflies were one of my mom's favorites. Um, I do have a butterfly um, on, around my navel. I have a butterfly and then I have ivy around my navel because, you know, I had it pierced. You know, because like six years ago, I was real skinny. <laughs> so hopefully I can lose some of this weight. Um, trying. We'll see. I'm going to put this on her. The little butterflies. I'm trying to get some of my babies in sleepers. The ones that lay in the crib. This is one of the babies that lay in the crib all the time. Um, actually, all three of these lay in the crib. I have, I think, um, eight babies that I keep in the crib. Six always. And then two others that I take out. And, like, I'll take two out and then I'll 
put them back in, but I, I usually keep always six, most of the time eight. And there she is. No hair pieces for the babies today, but there she is. There's my little Lexi. Hi, Lexi girl. Look at those lips. Those lips are so cute. And that's definitely what drew me to her. Okay, and let's get to the last baby. This would be my Rosalie. I love this little girl. Look at look at her rooting. And she's done by um Tender Touches by Jody. I do have a few babies done by her, and her rooting is absolutely gorgeous. She does micro rooting. It's sticking up a little bit, <laughs> but that's okay. Now she's in this sleeper. She's been in this sleeper for a while, so I'm gonna put this one on her. Um which has um, little animals on it, like sheep and um, elephants and little bunnies. I think she'll look cute in that. I love this sleeper, though. But she's been in it for a while now. Um, she also might be one of the ones that I bring to the doll show. I go back and forth if I'm going to bring her or not. She's a very common sculpt. A lot of people have her. And I've seen her painted in, in different skin tones. I love how her feet just curl up. I remember when we were house hunting, <laughs> I took her with me. One of the days that we were house hunting, looking at different houses before we got this one. And um, <laughs> she went with me. She's got her ears pierced too. I didn't pull out any hair pieces. I figured um I can just put them on at a later time if I choose to. Sometimes I keep the hair pieces off and I just leave them in their little sleepers without hair pieces. I know I mentioned on my last video that I am not moving out of the nursery. I am so excited about not moving out of the nursery. And moving into a smaller room. I'm so excited about that. I can't wait to really start working on this room. I'll be able to get it organized now. And because I was moving stuff out of it. I started moving some stuff upstairs. And I was like, this is not going to work. Because I really want to get my clothes all organized. And get everything situated in here. Back to where it was. Because I did have it situated in here pretty much and um then I started moving stuff out because we were going to move my sister in here oh this looks cute on her too I'll have to wet her hair down or maybe I'll just curl it up like this that looks kind of cute very cute so this is Ivy Jane so I have Quinn Renee Lexi and Ivy Jane some of my babies have middle names and some of them don't all right, let me push this back and bring it up. My hair's still wet. It's still staying straight. I'll have to brush it when I get off the video because if I don't, it starts to curl up. As you can see, it's starting already. So I'll have to brush it so it doesn't curl up. But I figured I'd bring on a couple more of my babies. I'm going to try and do that every day. So... So you can see them.